How, when was this meant to happen, Will, this share swap? It, it was meant to happen uh, in, in the coming months. It was uh, basically a favour that uh, Glencore was going to do for uh, Deripaska to underpin this IPO that he did in, uh, in London of his holding company, EN+. And now it can't happen. Um, it's not, in truth, a huge surprise after the sanction on Friday. It was clear that Glencore would have to examine its uh, relationships with Deripaska. Um, so this is on hold. Ivan Glazenberg announced that he's resigned from the Rusal board. Uh, now focus will fall on this very big contract that uh, Glencore has to buy Rusal's aluminium and sell it on. Um, it may be that... What could, yeah, what could happen that, to that contract? It, it's likely... The contract was up for renewal this year anyway, and yeah. it's likely, looking at the sanctions, that Glencore won't be able to won't be able to buy that aluminium anymore. Does, does any of this have a material impact on Glencore or not? On Glencore, it's not huge. Even if they lost all those aluminium uh, flows, it's probably less than 1% of its profit this year, according to some analysts. Um, and there'll be some compensation from the fact that they have a position in the American aluminium market, which is now doing very well because of this action and and the tariffs on aluminium that and proposed. on Rusal's side, the future of Rusal the is future of like the future of Rusal is looking pretty bleak at the moment. I mean, in essence, these sanctions have barred them from the U.S. dollar economy worldwide. It, you know, yesterday they had to say, "Please don't pay us for the metal because we're not sure that we're allowed to accept the the payments." Uh, we hear that big traders aren't willing to do business with them anyway. So it, it looks it looks dicey for Rusal. The key will be what the Kremlin does to try and underpin this very important Russian uh, company, which employs as many as 100,000 people. Demos, this is our WCRS function, which I know you'll be familiar with. And I've just brought it up just to show the one-day move in the ruble. So all these currencies, all 31, are rising against the ruble, and most are rising by a minimum of, of 3%.